Okay, can I start? Yeah. Okay, Romeo was found in a in a, a village called Nafplio by Stelios. He was driving down the road in the, I think it was the center of Nafplio, and he saw these three Roma children dragging Romeo. Uh, they had a piece of wire around his neck, and they were dragging Romeo uh, along the road. Cars were passing, people were passing, nobody did anything. So Stelios stopped and he rescued uh, Romeo. Stelio said the, the smell of the rotten flesh around Romeo's neck was so bad he had to open all the windows just to be able to breathe. Uh, then he went to take uh, Romeo to the local vet there. He posted Romeo's story on Facebook and uh, a friend of mine in England first saw uh, Romeo's video and he contacted me and he told me about it and he asked me if I could help and I said of course yes. So Romeo came to me. Uh, when he came to me, I first thing I noticed was he had no voice. He lost his voice. Then I noticed at the bottom here, there was still a very bad infection and on the top here, and I noticed that his face was a bit swollen. So I sent uh, Romeo to Irini Taputi in Chalkida. Um, they, they, they took him in and they did an x-ray and uh, with the x-ray they realized he had a fistula between his trachea and esophagus and sh she suggested that uh, they immediately do an operation to close the fistula because otherwise he will have constant uh, respiratory problems so they, they I think the operation was about 5-6 hours long and they closed the fistula and uh, the, the operation went very well. Oh, he came back to me, um, he was in hospital two weeks. Then he came back to me, I think I took him home too soon because he developed pneumonia. <laughs> then he had to go back to the hospital for another week, but now he is just fine. He's a very happy dog. Um, as for Romeo's character, you could say, or personality, he is a very happy boy now. He's very friendly. He likes uh, other dogs a lot, especially Maggie. Um, he likes to play, you know, just being a normal young dog. But as for people, he's, he's not, he doesn't trust us yet 100%. You can see he wants to come to you. He wants to play with you, but something is still holding him back a lot. He, uh, Yorgos, the little Roman boy, that helps me out. He loves Yorgos. I suppose because he gives him food. <laughs> uh, he likes to play with a ball, uh, but I, I, he, he needs time. And also whoever adopts him uh, have to realize that they have to be patient. They have to have a lot of understanding that he has a lot of emotional baggage. But I think Romeo, once he's adopted and he's with a family 24-7, he's going to turn out one amazing, affectionate, sweet boy. He is a very gentle boy. Irini the vet said he's, most of the, he's one of the most gentle, calm dogs she's ever had to, uh, in her clinic. Very calm, very sweet. What else can I say about Romeo? I'm not good at uh, describing what's other words for sweet and calm and affectionate and gentle and... How old is he? He's probably about 18 months, medium sized boy. He reminds me a lot of Oliver's Yeah. His eyes. When I look in his eyes, I see Oliver.